Hi year two. So for today's English lesson, our writing lesson, we are going to do a recap about nouns or verbs. Then I'm going to talk to you a little bit about home phones and then you're going to do an activity in your book. And there is a challenge question for this for this lesson where you'll earn bonus dojo points. So to start off with, you can either write these out and write verb or noun. You can colour code them. You can make them into lists or you can play a game of splat. Okay, and I will tell you how to play splat. I will read out a word and I want you to point to it and say noun or verb. Okay, so I might say jump. I want you to say noun or verb. So you would say verb because it's an action. It's a doing word. Okay, somebody is doing it. Somebody is jumping. So that's a verb. I would point and say table and you would say noun or verb. Table is a noun because it's an object, okay? Name, place, thing is a noun, okay? So, Bob, that's a noun, okay? It's a name, name of a person. Pencil, it's a noun, okay? It's an object, okay? Laugh is a verb okay you laugh is an action okay let's get a little bit quicker now hop that's a verb okay action david williams is a noun okay it is a name dog again another noun okay it's an object though this time the queen is a noun okay so now we've just recapped on a noun or a verb. We're going to move on to our lesson today, which is about homophones, okay? Now we have looked at homophones mainly in our spelling lessons um, over this year, and we've we've recapped it a couple of times, but it's a really tricky concept, okay? So talk to your grown-up. What is a homophone? And can you think of any examples? Okay? So I'll give you a minute. You might not remember. In that case, we'll just recap it again today. Okay, so a homophone, okay? This gives you a little bit of a clue here. Flower, flower. Hmm. Homo means same. Phone means sound. So a homophone are words that are spelt differently, have different meanings, but they sound the same. So, an example of this would be pair and pair. They sound the same, but by pair I can mean a pair of shoes, or pair I could mean I'm going to eat a pair. Okay? It sounds the same, but you can tell from my sentences that they mean different things. I'm not going to eat a pair of shoes. Okay? So I know if I say I'm going to eat a pair, it's going to be the fruit. If I'm going to say I'm going to wear a pair, of shoes, I know I'm not going to wear two two shoes um, made of pairs, okay? So you can use a sentence to help you out and use your knowledge of the words to help you with which one it is, okay? So, my next one. Weak and weak. They sound exactly the same. They are spelled differently, but they sound the same. I can mean weak as in a weak person. That old man is weak. Or I can mean, oh, what a lovely week I've had. Okay? I wouldn't say what a lovely week I've had if I meant like weak as in not strong. This one means not strong. This one is a time period. Seven days. Okay? So, what other homophones can you think of? So, two words that sound the same but have different meanings. Okay? So, I'm going to give you one minute quickly to have a think. Pause the video, talk with your grown up, how many can you think of? Okay, so I've given you two there, pair and week. What else can you think of? Go. Okay, you should have given yourself a minute to think of as many as you can. Okay, here are some that I've thought of. So break, as in break time, and break as in car breaks. Okay, here, as in right here, and here, as in here. Okay, night as in dark, 
when the moon comes up. A knight as in a knight in a castle that wears armour. Okay, you've got buy as in I'm going to buy some sweets. And buy as in I want to be by the seaside. Okay, so there's quite a few. What I want you to do is tell me which one is I'm going to take you going to tell me which one's the homophone from the clues, okay? So I'm gonna say a fruit. So a fruit, I know it's a pair as in this pair, because that pair could mean a pair of shoes, a pair of socks, two things, okay? So I know that that's not going to be it. Pair is in this pair. Okay, let's look at the next one. Look at the ocean. Okay. Now this could actually be both. Because look could mean sea, look could mean this sea, but the ocean, sea, as in S-E-A, is another word for ocean, for water, okay, for a big, for, for a big amount of water, okay. So, let's look at the next one. Hmm, an animal, okay, an animal grows on your head okay so an animal would be this type of hair because it's a type of rabbit it's an animal grows on your head would be the hair i've had a haircut the hair here but they sound the same but they are spelt differently and they have different meanings okay so there's quite a few of these this is a very common one that sounds the same eight and eight okay eight i ate my dinner eight as in the number eight you have eight sandwiches okay very similar and our last one is one that people can get mixed up quite a lot sun as in sunshine you've got that u s u n and sun as in a baby son a boy somebody's son okay that's s-o-n okay so those are the homophones that we've looked at today what i would like you to do is write out the sentences in your books and do your date and your lesson so you would write writing homophones and here i have two words next to each other two homophones so night and night i need to choose the right one and all I would do is I would rewrite the sentence out, but with the correct one. So I wouldn't write both. So if last night I went for a walk in the moonlight. Okay. Went for a walk last night. Oh, I know what I mean. I mean when the sun goes away and the moon comes out and it gets dark. Okay. So I'll look. Which one could it be? Now I know the one with the K, the silent K, night, is a sort like a soldier that's kind of around the castle and he's got white and he's got silver armor so i know it's not that one so what i would do is i would write the sentence out just with this homophone here okay just writing the one so you've got eight to do and i need you to remember your capital letters and full stops okay take a photo of your work and send it to me there is a challenge and the challenge is very tricky so these words here are all the homophones write or draw what they mean and can you write them in a sentence? If you do this, you will be earning dojo points because this is a tricky one and I've picked some quite tricky ones to explain there. But have a go at the challenge if you can. But you need to have completed all eight questions for today. Writing them out in your neatest handwriting, capital letters and full stops. And I will say if it's got no capital letters to go and add them in. Okay. Any questions, send them my way or to Miss Sadler. But this is quite a fun lesson, quite a tricky one, so do not get confused, okay? I'll see you all soon.